Hello and welcome to CI in Under 5. My name is John Wheezy, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to configure one of the recently released export destinations of SFTP. If I click on that, you'll see that there are some things that I need. Uh, first thing I need to give it is a display name, and I have a server set up in uh, the Google Cloud, so I'm going to call it uh, GCP SFTP Server. Then I'll need a username, a password, and a host name. So if I jump over to my Google Cloud, you'll see that I have this SFTP server. I can click and grab the external IP. Put that in here. And I've created a username called CI Demo, which I've given a password. And then the last piece that we want to do is you want to put in a path to where you want it to store. So we'll call it just CI Stuff. And I'm going to hit verify. That is going to go off and make sure that all my info is correct. And I'm going to say unzipped and common delimited. Now, just before I continue, I'm going to bring up um, FileZilla, which is a tool for connecting to FTP sites. And you can see I'm connected already here to um, this instance. So um, I've connected to my server as CI demo. And you can see that there's nothing in the directory right now. So it's empty. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to say unzipped just so we can see what uh, it looks like unzipped. I'm going to leave it as common delimited, although I could change that to your tab semicolon or colon. Click agree and next. Here I have a chance to select the customer attributes that I want to export. So anything that's in my customer uh, profile I can choose or I can simply choose to export everything. And then I can pick the segments uh, either individually or all at once. Hit save. And then the last piece I need to do is, all I've done at this point really is configured the destination endpoint. I haven't actually exported anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on export. That's gonna go ahead and run. It doesn't take, doesn't take too long, uh, just uh, about uh, 15, 20 seconds probably. And uh, when that's done, we'll be back and be able to show you what happened. Okay, we're back and you can see that that uh, happened. It actually didn't take quite that long. And now what we can do is we can flip back over to our SFTP client or our FTP client, uh, FileZilla. And I'm just gonna do a refresh here, hit F5. And here we go, as you can see, we now have the two files. Oh, it's there zipped. I must have accidentally kept the zipped property. Let me jump back over and take a quick look. If I, oh, yep, I did leave it as zipped, so. I didn't want that, I can hit next. Save that off. Let's confirm it. Save this time. Yep, unzipped. And I could run it again, and uh, then I should get the unzipped output in my FTP site. But that is how you configure your exporting to an SFTP server in Customer Insights. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and tune in again for our future episodes.